In engineering, we have a lot of group work and it's a requirement of accreditation that we have a lot of group work. Assessment of group work is problematic in trying to identify student contribution and differentiating between the students. Peer assessment is probably the most powerful way of identifying that contribution. The only people who are there at the time when the learning is taking place are the students. The difficulty is trying to come up with a system that accommodates their maybe untruthfulness from time to time. In 2006, a team of academics, learning technologists and developers from Loughborough University and the University of Hull acquired JISC funding to develop further an online peer assessment tool, originally built at Loughborough. This tool is called WebPA and it enables students working in groups on assignments to assess and grade their own and others' achievements. Lecturers set up how they wish to use WebPA for each assignment. Firstly, they decide on the groups that students will work in. Secondly, they set the criteria for the assessment, commonly five or six. And finally, they decide on the marking system. Although the WebPA tool has default settings and can generate decisions, it has always been considered critical that this tool provides as much flexibility as possible to accommodate different pedagogic approaches associated with different disciplines. I always used to do this using a paper-based system. So as student numbers gradually increased, I found uh, the need to uh, use technology to support this more and more. The great thing about it is that the marks are almost entertaining, so we can provide very quick feedback for the students, and this is something they found uh, really helpful. I like the idea that we can set appropriate criteria linked to the intended learning outcomes of the module. and In fact, we can discuss them beforehand with the groups and agree them with the students themselves. It's very straightforward. You can log in at home, on campus, wherever, and it's just a few questions, rate one to five, and you're done. I thought it was a great idea because otherwise everyone gets the same mark, no matter how much effort they put in. Students get the chance to collaborate with each other, share thoughts and ideas, and also share the collective feedback, so that reassures them a bit more about how they're learning on the course. You say you're working with four or five other students, you're going to get their opinion of, of your work as well, so you've got a greater insight into your actual performance. Given that the WebPA tool contributes to students' marks, it's crucial that students understand how the system works and believe it to be fair. One of the first things you do, and I think it's very important to do with the students, is to introduce them to the concept of peer assessment and how to go about being honest and constructive with the feedback so that they'll benefit as much as the fellow peers who they're giving feedback to. The algorithm that we use tends to average out opinions. The strong students do better than average, but maybe not quite as well as they deserve. The weak students do worse than average, but maybe not quite as badly as they deserve. I think that's probably quite fair, because it's all down to whether the team succeeds or fails. And if you're a really strong person working in a, a weak team, you probably won't get a result as good as you really are and vice versa. So I think it's giving pretty well the right answer. Although WebPA has been trialled in departments of engineering and physical sciences, it is a tool that can be used in any discipline, as it is fully customisable. As other departments heard about it really by word of mouth through best practice seminars, it started to be used in the business school, in English and drama and sports science, so it's across all three faculties. The university can say, you should look at peer assessment, but the individual would be much happier talking to an academic in another department who's used it than having a diktat come down from on high. You need a combination of bottom-up and top-down. As soon as we released the code as open source, other universities picked up on it really quickly. And then three years later, we're in over 17 institutions and properly embedded into their teaching. We have a web forum site and uh, we've now got a pretty active user group of people sharing answers to particular problems. In fact, it's opened a complete new door for me in, in, in pedagogic research by taking the views of other people who've used it in a different way. Wherever group work occurs, you can make WebPA fit your discipline. It's a core part of our assessment repertoire. It's second nature now. WebPA is looking for you to reflect on the skills you've gained from the work these skills you're looking to take into employment as well. Students are interested in getting a fair mark and as far as I'm concerned complaints have disappeared. <laughs>